Hello and welcome to Letters to Joe. Thank you to those who have been continuously sending your letters to Letters to Joe. If you want to send yours, you can click the link in my bio or in the caption below. It depends where you're watching or listening this from. So we have a letter here. This one is from an anonymous sender. Sabi niya, Hi, Ate Joe. I need your help or advice. I'm dating a four-year-old. He's younger than me and he's now third-year college taking up physical therapy and working in a po ako sa call center. I'm 25 years old na po. Nung nag-aaral po si Kuya Les, paano niyo nakakayanan yung mga panahong wala siyang time sa inyo? Kapag busy siya, kapag madalas kasama niya yung mga kaklase niya, paano niyo po na-handle? And I have no friends to talk to to get an advice. I hope manotice po. God bless. If you are new here on this episode and you're listening to this, Les um, was actually a dancer when we started um, dating. He did that siguro five years na kami together. Tama ba? So sorry. Hold on, hold on. Four years. Four years kami nung nagsaseo siya. Like literally, professional dancer. He would be invited to judge in different dance competitions. Um, he, also, he also organized, I believe, a dance class here in the Philippines of an international dancer. I forget her name. Um, he was also invited in different countries. He was also invited in Japan. Um, like Australia na rin siya. So you, you get the point here. Um, he was really passionate about what he does, about his career in dance. And kahit nung time na nagsasayo na siya, there would be times na he would get a little bit busy, but not compared to now na law student, or uh, sorry, law graduate na siya and he's also prepping for the bar in September, which is 17 days. Is it 17 or 15 days? Uh, ako kasi, my personality as Ate Joe, <laughs> or as Joe, um, hindi kasi talaga ako clingy na person. I would love to get that straight from people who are listening here kasi baka kasi mamaya people might think that bakit kina Ate Joe, bakit kina Kuya Les nag-work yung, ganong, uh, sit, yung sitwasyon na ganun. But I think it just also depends rin kasi on what kind of people or what kind of person rather that you are. Ako kasi hindi talaga ako clingy na tao. So, and I also kind of worked up, worked up my way into developing some sort of character around yung situation na kapag walang time si Les, anong gagawin ko? I feel like I just got used to it na rin because at this point of Les and I's relationship, we both have a general understanding of what we both are in the relationship, what he is to me and what I am to him in a way that Kahit pagbali-balik tarin ang mundo, kahit pagbali-balik tarin ang mga damit at ang mga lamesa, mahal niya ako, mahal ko siya. I know it's it's as 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 cringy as it sounds. I don't know. Um, we have that general understanding. Para bang siguro kumpara na lang natin sa pagmamahal natin sa magulang natin. Some of us, some some of us, or pagmamahal natin sa mga sa mga kaibigan natin or sa mga kapatid natin na Kahit anong mangyari, again, some, there are some households that are, are like this, na kahit anong mangyari, kapatid mo siya, magulang mo siya. Ganun. Again, some. Because I know that hindi lahat ng, ng pamamahay may ganong pagmamahal sa pamilya. But hopefully, some of you guys can relate to this. And kami ni Les, ganun. Kung kahit anong mangyari sa buhay naming dalawa, kahit may mga makilala kami o may mga trabaho kami or there are certain phases in our lives that would change us. We love each other and we're just gonna come back to each other. Kahit na walang oras siles, as long as I know what's happening, as long as I get a general understanding of what he's doing na busy siya, then everything is gonna be fine. I put my needs above him as he does with my needs. Ganon. I feel like, I know that it's somehow, when I explain it now, it's like, it sounds as easy as it, as it is, but it's really time that helped Les and I to become who we are now and how we, how we treat each other. And I feel like, baka yung mga, mga matatanda, mga matatanda talaga, yung mga nakakatanda sa atin, yan, kasi naman, Ate Joe, di naman marunong mamili <laughs> 
yung mga nakakatanda sa atin, especially those who got married na, yung mga matatagal na talagang kasal, yung mga lolos-lolas natin na na may pagka, may, I think that they would understand what I'm trying to say. Lalo na yung mga nasa long-term relationship na kahit busy yung isa, okay lang. Ganun. And I feel like nung time talaga, what really helped was my person, less was reassuring me kung ano yung mangyayari. Yan. Kasi nga, alam na namin parehas eh. He's, um, he's in law school. So, ano ba ibig sabihin nun? Ibig sabihin magiging busy yung tao, di ba? So, just like you, physical therapy, um, third year college na siya, physical therapy, and magsi senior year na siya, di ba? So, that means this person is gonna get a lot busier than he is compared to his later years in college. And ikaw din nag, nag-work ka sa call center. So, I'm pretty sure that your time, sobrang laki ng difference, di ba? Kasi siya nasa school siya. Tapos ikaw, I don't know what time your shift is. Pero, alam mo yun, I always try to make it a point that lahat naman ng ginagawa natin when it comes to our career, hindi lang naman para sa atin yun eh para sa magulang natin. If you're single or if you're a bachelor, para sa magulang natin, para sa kapatid natin. And in our case and in my case, I'm trying to better my career or you're trying to better your career every single day so you can build a better future together. Diba? Yun naman ang goal natin eh, is when we get into relationships, the goal is na maging forever siya, diba? It's, it's to lead to to marriage. And kami ni Les, ganun din. Kaya parang feeling ko, every time that I'm making my career better, is because I feel like hindi lang naman talaga siya para sa akin. Yun. I always try to better myself. Especially nung time na sinabi sa akin ni Les na, okay, he's assuring me that he's gonna get busy from school. I always come up of new things to try myself. To try... Um, going to the gym to try out a new dance class or to try out pole class to try to try new things that I know myself I can do I I believe I talked about this in in my TikTok lives probably in my TikTok lives I don't know if I've ever talked about this uh, specifically on a TikTok video before oh I did I actually touched up on it pero parang video lang siya tapos may text lang siya na individuality is very important in a relationship individuality not meaning to say, may isang nag-comment dun sa, vi- sa video ko na yun na sabi niya, individuality, ibig sabihin, alam pa rin yung ginagawa. Tama naman, di ba? Tama naman yung sinasabi niya. Individuality na alam pa rin yung ginagawa, hindi yung individuality na tapos hindi ka na nag-update, hindi mo na pinapaalam yung girlfriend or boyfriend mo sa kung anong ginagawa mo. So, that's what I really focused on. Nung naging busy si Les, I made sure that I rekindled my friendships. Ayan, I know that you mentioned that you have no friends to talk to, to get advice. I think this is the best time to, to rebuild your connections with your friends, to, to gain new friendships. And I believe that there are so many ways right now to build those friendships. As in, lately, nalaman ko ha, merong sa Reddit, it's called R for R relationship for relationship daw. And people post there like to meet up with with people. Kahit not into relationships like romantic relationships. Like people post there na, hey, if you're free tonight, let's go out. Labas tayo ganyan, ganyan. But please be careful ha. Be careful sa mga ganong sites because you don't know kung sino pa rin yung mga tao may kilala mo. But it's also the same with, you know, these dating apps, yung Tinder and Bubble. You still don't know the people behind these accounts, diba? But people do it anyway. So, I feel like it's time to broaden your horizons. That is so generic nung ano ni Ate Jo. So generic nung advice niya. <laughs> Naalala ko tuloy. Sometimes kapag tinatawagan kasi uh, actually when I call Les, let me let me pick myself up from there. Pag tinatawagan si Les, kapag yung gusto ko siyang kulitin or asarin, tapos he needs like a pick me up ganyan. Minsan nag-a-advise ako sa kanya yung like the most generic advice. Like yung, do your best so the best can do you. <laughs> yung mga ganun lang, inaasar ko lang siya, naalala ko lang bigla. But, ay, I'm so sorry. Nagalo ko yung mic natin. But, I think, to, to, to talk about, let's go back from what we're talking about. Um, kapag busy siya, yun talaga, I don't know, my, 
the best advice I could give to you is just to broaden your horizons, talaga. Like, to figure out what you like, to, to treat yourself out, to, you know, to, to, to go out on dates on yourself, by yourself. Ano ba tawag doon? Um, to go, to date yourself. Ayan, to, to date yourself. Mga me time mo. Figure out ko ano yung mga gusto mong sports. It's really that that made me who I am now. Kasi people always ask me na para, Ate Jo, how are you so confident? Ganun. Because I really put the time and effort to knowing who I am. The time ng busy yung partner ko. ba? This is why I may pinost akong video na you don't have to lose your relationship to figure out who you are. So, pag busy yung partner mo, why not try new things, ba? Para naman, medyo, hindi mo rin masyadong maisip yung partner mo, hindi mo rin siya masyadong mamiss. It's all for, it's all for a good cause anyway. Parang, we, I mean well when I say these things because there's nothing that, there's nothing so fulfilling in the world na kapag busy yung partner mo, tapos busy ka, and you do something for yourself, tapos mag, may kukwento ko kayo sa isa't isa na, Na, na hindi alam ng partner mo and it's something new that you guys can talk about, ba? So it's also like bettering yourself, trying to get to know yourself. And although, I can't lie, ha? There are some times naman talaga na, you know, nakaka, nakakalungkot. And I think I, yeah, I think I brushed upon this on my TikTok lives before. I can't lie and say na, Si Ate Jo, laging masaya yan nung time na naglulos ko si Quilas. She's like the best. She had the best time of her life. No, not at all. There are days talaga na nalulungkot din ako. Sometimes when I, when I, you know, when I'm with my friends na may mga significant others sila, tapos magkasama na sila and they get to go out on dates whenever they they can. Tapos, you know, they're, they're moving on with their lives. They're having like different careers na, ganyan. So this is why it's really important to, you know, to, to better yourself then. Like to figure out what your career is. Because even though that some of your friends have been posting stuff like that na may mga, they're trying to move on with their careers, you also have something that you can focus on. Diba? You can You can also focus on something that you can build. And totoo lang, sometimes I get a little bit lonely. So totoo lang. Yeah. Pero I still go back to my foundation in a way na wala eh. Hindi naman gusto ng mga, di, hindi naman niya gustong malungkot ka. Hindi naman niya gustong lagi siyang mabizi. But we just all have certain priorities in life to get by. Kasi if hindi nila gawin yan, papano na, diba? Papano na yung future ng partner mo? Papano na yung future nyong dalawa, diba? Hindi naman nila ginagawa yan dahil trip lang nila. <laughs> diba? Ang ganda sana kung ginagawa nila, kung trip lang nila, diba? Huwag na, huwag na natin gawin. <laughs> but yun, I always try to remind myself na when I'm lonely and when I think about it, like, my boyfriend, Les Paul, isn't doing law because trip lang niya. Diba? He's doing it for our future. He's doing it for himself. Uh, we always get comments like, Ooh, ginagawa lang naman ni Les Paul yan para sa kanya. Kapag nawala ka, Joe, wala lang yan. E di tuloy pa rin yung buhay niya. And, then, and I say to that, then so be. And I say to that, then so be it. Sorry. Um, I think that that is it. That's the best advice I can give to you. To, to focus on new things, to better your career, to learn to learn more about yourself. Diba? Para, para mas makilala mo sarili mo. Yan. And still, y- you get the bang for the buck because you're still in the relationship. Diba? There's so many things to discover in life that's not within the vicinity of your relationship. Ayun. So, as long as you can communicate towards each other kung anong gagawin nyo, kung anong mangyayari sa araw nyo, then I feel like you should be fine. Ayun. Hopefully, that helped. And if you guys want to, to hear more advice from me, relationships, friendships man yan, the link is in my bio or in the caption below. I don't know what your name is, but I really hope that I could get to hear from you kung kamusta na, kung ano nang mangyayari. And I'm excited. I'm excited that 
you might know a different side of yourself within this relationship na pwede mong ikwento sa partner mo, di ba? Nakakatuwa. So, I'm excited. God bless. Again, for those who are new here, my name is Joe and this is Letters to Joe. If you want to send your letters, it's in the link in my bio or in the caption below. It depends where you're watching or listening this from. That's it. Thanks, everybody. New episodes every Saturday at 1 p.m. Bye.